So we're a research facility with the Faculty of Science uh, out of St John's Memorial University. We work with the other tourist operators on the waterfront here and there's a kayak operator uh, to the right of the station and we get inshore and meander along. We have some viewfinders that we can put down that people can look at the creatures. Bond Bay is a great place for boating, kayaking and diving because it's always calm. There's always somewhere you can go in Bond Bay to get out of the wind. Let's go in and see some fish. So this is where we're able to hold creatures. You, the noise you hear is seawater being pumped in on a continuous basis. So it's about three or four degrees Celsius and it's not going to get any warmer than three or four degrees Celsius because a lot of the creatures we want to hold in a temperature they would normally be living in. Now I'm going to get you to guess at how old that lobster is. Oh, three or four years? gastrovascular cavity, it's right down at the bottom, um, so they'll eat and cool out the same, same spot. Wow. This is an ocean pout, okay, or an eel pout, again designed for living on the bottom, has these large fleshy lips, a bit like Mick Jagger we say. This is a sea raven, oh, ow, there we go, that was cool. <laughs> okay, do have sharp teeth, remember this is the ambush predator. Okay, so he was waiting for something to move by. I caught his eye, my hand, and he went to take a little bite out of it. You are right? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just a little nip. These are sea mice. If you turn it over, it is, in fact, a very large worm. This is the Atlantic or the striped wolf fish. They're quite territorial. If you put them together, one will do battle with the other one, so we try and avoid that powerful head and jaws to crush hard-bodied creatures. Sea urchins, small crabs, uh, small lobsters. If you can do that to a sea urchin, then if I'm taking you out of my lobster pot, you can do that to me. We're not quite sure what's happened with Pierre, uh, but he has this strange pigmentation. It's almost like one side has been boiled and the other side, the pigmentation is fine. The dark brown color is the normal pigmentation. This lobster is a she-he lobster. This lobster has both male and female external reproductive structures. We just call them she-he. We haven't come up with a clever name yet, so we're, we're looking for ex uh, good names. Come and see what lives in our waters. <laughs> 